John Ortberg tells a story about those same questions. He says, my grandmother first taught me to play the game of Monopoly. She knew the name of the game was to acquire, just buy everything she could. Eventually, she'd become the master of the board. After taking my last dollar, she would always look at me and say the same thing. One day, John, you'll learn how to play the game. Ordberg says, one summer, I learned how to play the game. I came to understand the only way to win was to make a total commitment to acquisition. Money and possessions, that is how you keep score. By the end of that summer, I had become more ruthless than my grandmother. I was willing to bend any rule I had to to win. And I had a chance to sit down and play her that fall. I took everything she had. I can't tell you how great it was as I watched her turn over her last dollar to me in utter defeat. And then, and then she had one more thing to teach me. She said, now, it all goes back in the box. All those houses and hotels, all those railroads, all that lovely money, it had to go back in the box. She said, none of it was really yours. It was all there a long time before you sat down at the board, and it will all be around long after you're gone. Players come and players go, houses and cars, titles and clothes, even your body. Because the fact is, everything I clutch and consume and hoard will go back in the box, and I'm going to lose it all. So you have to ask yourself, when you finally get the ultimate promotion, when you've made the ultimate purchase, when you buy that ultimate home, when you've stored up financial security and climbed the ladder of success to the highest rung you can possibly climb, and the thrill wears off, and it will wear off, then what? How far will you have to walk down that road before you see where it leads? Surely you understand, it will never be enough. So you have to ask yourself the question, what matters?